Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are building another lightsaber. So this is Shin Hachi's lightsaber from Ahsoka. And I've got to say, when this one's finished, it is my favorite. So let's jump into this. We've got all the bits here, everything planted off in black apart from the grip, which is white. And this is actually the cool part about this uh, lightsaber is the fact that it is a lightsaber with complete white in it. I quite like that. So yeah, we're gonna clean up all these parts. We've also got to take some support structure off of this. If I was to do this again, I would actually split this into two parts. So I just print it flat on each side and then put it together rather than having any marks left over from the support material, which obviously I had to clean off. But uh, that's the only minor thing I do. The actual 3D model is perfect. Link in the description below if you want to give it a go. And uh, major props to the original designer because it's a really nice 3D model. So yeah, I did a bunch of masking and some spray painting to give me a little bit of different textures between the black and the metal. And the paint came out really good. The last lightsaber I did, I did a clear coat on it to see if that would make it look better or worse. And I'm kind of just not quite in the clear coat kind of mood. So I decided not to go with a clear coat on this one. Haven't quite decided if that's how I'm gonna be with all my lightsabers in the future, but I do like how this one overall has come out. It's definitely my favorite one at the end of all this. And I think at the end of this video, when you see the final product that you guys are gonna agree, but let me know in the comments below. Now, once the painting was all done, what I did is laid down all the pieces in what I thought was the correct order. Because of course, these all being cylinders, they could easily fit together in the wrong order. So I went and looked at reference, made sure that I had everything the right way around, the colors in the right place and all that, and it looked good. So I went and printed off a couple of pegs, just five millimeters in diameter, and that was gonna stick everything together. So yeah, let's actually glue this up. And uh, originally when I got a 3D printer, I did not want to do lightsabers. I thought it sounds a bit boring just doing a bunch of cylinders on a 3D printer, but man, it, it has become incredibly satisfying. So major props to my brother for suggesting doing lightsabers on the 3D printer. I have to agree, the final products of these are just sweet. And even though the, the man best stuff has been like blasters and stuff, that are definitely way more complex than lightsabers and I think overall look amazing. Um, the fact is lightsabers do end up coming out really good. And if you are kind of a beginner in 3D printing, I think it is quite a good one to go with because you can always cut things down into smaller bits as well to make it easier to print. Like that handle, uh, if I was to do that on my Ender 3, I think I'd have a lot of trouble with it. I think it would end up probably falling over. Whereas my K1, my K1 would just print that no problem. So it's good to know what you're capable of and like I say, I could have just split the grip in half and then made it a lot easier to print. Not to mention, I can make all of these pretty much hollow. I just use lightning and fill so it fills it in kind of where it needs to when it's putting down a layer on top of it. So it ends up being completely hollow, very cheap on materials. Uh, so yeah, don't be like me. I actually do lightsabers if you're getting 3D printers as kind of first projects because they are incredibly easy and you can learn quite a lot from doing them. So that top bit there, it didn't stick on too well to the actual bit because I'd painted it. The paint doesn't adhere too well. So I should have went in with a little bit of sandpaper and probably cleared it up. But uh, final product ended up being absolutely solid once I let it dry. So yeah, you can see I had a clamp there. My intentions was that I was gonna clamp this to make it you know, uh, completely solidify. So I got my biggest clamp out and I was like, perfect. This is gonna be easy to just put in there, clamp just a tiny, you know, just a little bit of pressure so the glue is really good. And then I realized it's bigger than the freaking clamp. And this is like, Shin Hattie is not the biggest of characters, but this lightsaber is pretty bloody big, which I'm starting to realize is very much a consistent thing with lightsabers. They're not as small as I would have imagined at all. But yeah, this one uh, is pretty damn good. So here's the final product. We're gonna put on the finishing touch, which is just a little clear, clip at the end. Of course, this wouldn't actually be able to hold its own weight if you try to clip it onto your belt or something, but uh, it makes it look even more awesome just kind of dangling down there for sure. And yeah, we are done. And I gotta say, this one is definitely my favorite. I think it came out looking exceptional. I think the overall design is really nice, but it is the white grip that actually just makes this one stand out. And I don't know exactly what it is, but um, when I look at it, I'm extremely satisfied. So major props to the original designer of this 3D model. Link in the description below if you want to give it a go yourself, completely free. And uh, yeah, just 
I'm so happy with this one. This one's going to go on display somewhere, I think, as it just has a really, really nice look to it. And yeah, that white is just, for some reason, the absolute pinnacle of this saber. Also, weird to go with the grip for it, because, of course, in real life, that would get dirty as hell. But it looks so good.